I am Balakrishnan from Pulio Tumuk Kodi Code. I cordially welcome you to my English Raindrops YouTube channel. In the last classes, I told you about uh, subject and its kinds and subject and predicate parts of a sentence. Today, I would like to tell you a new subject. It is about the phrase and the clause. Today's topic is the phrase and the clause. So, look at these examples. Here, I have written a sentence. The sun sets in the west. The sun sets in the west is a sentence. In this sentence, these words, in the west, in the west are a group of words, is a group of words and it gives a sense but not complete sense. So, this is a phrase. In this sentence, in the west is a phrase. It gives a sense but not complete sense. Such a kind of group of words which gives a sense but not complete sense is called a phrase. In the second sentence, they put the box on the dust. In this sentence, on the dust is the phrase. So, I have introduced here two sentences. In the first sentence, in the west is a phrase and second sentence on the dust is a phrase so these are the these, these two are phrases what is a phrase a phrase is a group of words which gives a sense but not complete sense and please look at the other sentences he bought a table which is made of wood he bought a table which is made of wood in this sentence which is made of wood is a clause. A clause is just like a phrase, a group of words, but it gives us a complete sense. Which is made of wood gives us a complete sense. So, in this sentence we can see, in this part of sentence we can see, which is the subject part and is made of wood is predicate part. And this is also, we can call this uh, Part of sense are set clause. He bought a table. It gives us sense, complete sense, and it is subject to part and predicate part. So, what is a clause? A clause is a group of words which gives us sense, uh, complete sense, which gives us complete sense. The clause will have a subject part and a predicate part. One more example. He went outside while it was raining. He went outside while it was raining. This while it was raining is a group of words, it gives us sense, it gives us complete sense, so it is a clause. So a phrase is a group of words which gives us sense but not complete sense. It cannot stand alone. But a clause is a group of words which gives us sense, which gives us complete sense and it will have a subject part and a predicate part. So this is what I would like to tell you about it. It's about uh, phrase and the clause. And, in the Malayala, I will agree again. This sentence, the sun sets in the west. In the west, in the west, in the west, phrase in the west. This is a very important thing, but it's a poor thing. It's not a technical thing, it's not a phrase. It's not a subject part, it's not a predicate part, it's not a group of words. It's a phrase. They put the box on the desk, on the desk in the parangas, and then they will phrase up. The phrase in the parangas are provided in the bhaga maricum, but then they are in a complete sense of the rangarilla. In a group of words, a group of words which gives us sense but not complete sense. For now, I have to run kariate, while I am going to put them in the varia, phrase in the varia. Now, I am going to see, while I am going to bought a table which is made of wood. Which is made of wood is made of wood. It is close. It is subject and predicate part. Close group of words are in the form of your arthum. This is the same thing. He went outside while it was raining. While it was raining is the same thing. Close. A clause in the subject part to it in the subject part to it and was raining in the predicate part to it. Okay, this is what, why it was raining in the, 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 in
താങ്ക് യു ആൻഡ് ഹാവ് എ നൈസ് ഡേ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് ഈ വീഡിയോ ഇഷ്ടപ്പെട്ടിട്ടുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ നിങ്ങൾ എല്ലാവർക്കും ഷെയർ ചെയ്യുക എല്ലാവരും എന്റെ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ആകാൻ വേണ്ടി പറയുകയാണ് ഹാവ് എ നൈസ് ഡേ ബി ഹാപ്പി ആൻഡ് പ്ലസൻ്റ് ആൾവേ